Hey, Wednesday afternoon on January the 3rd, 2024. Best baseball player, 1969. Interesting year. Matty Alou. Not in the Hall of Fame. But he wins it. Three categories. Hits. Total hits for the season. In fact, for all the National and American League players, he had the most hits. 231. Doubles, 41. And singles, 183. Three categories for Matty Alou. I couldn't find anybody else who had more categories. Pete Rose had the batting title. Harmon Killebrew, home runs. Roberto Clemente, the triples. Harmon Killebrew, 140 runs batted in. So he wins home runs, 49. And runs batted in, 140. But just two categories for Killebrew. Reggie Jackson had most runs scored. Willie McCovey, slugging and on base. So two categories for him. Two for Killebrew. Jim Wynn, base on balls. Tommy Harper, the stolen bases. And Frank Howard, most total bases. Howard, he won last year, right? 1968, him and Lou Brock. But my criteria is, I have 13 categories. Who wins the most of them? Matty Alou, three. Killebrew, two. McCovey, two. Let's look at his year. Very good year for Matty Alou. Listen to this. 162 games. Every plays every day. 698 at bats. How about that? 105 runs scored. Good. 231 hits. Excellent. 41 doubles, six triples. You want to hear something? In 1969, Matty Lou hit one home run. Killebrew hit 49. 48 RBIs. That's pathetic. Don't you agree? 48 RBIs. If you play 162 games, I guess he's a leadoff guy. He scored the runs, 105, but only 48 RBIs. 22 stolen bases. 42 walks, listen to this, 35 strikeouts, 698 at-bats, 35 strikeouts. Excellent ratio. Contact hitter, 331 hitter. 231 hits, and he bats 331. On base, 369, slugging. Only 411, and the on base is just 287. So, Matty Alou, three categories. I'm going to give it to him. You would say that Killebrew had the homers and the RBIs, but what was Harmon Killebrew's batting average in 1969? I like batting average. I told you that Harmon. All right, let's look it up. I'll, I'll put Harmon in here and see what he batted. I say it's below 300. What do you think? 1969. Harmon Killebrew batted 276 and had 153 hits. Listen to this. He played the same number of games as Matty Alou, 162. But he had 152 hits. Alou, 231. Matty Alou had 78 more hits than Harmon Killebrew that year. And they both played the same number of games. Who do you take? Killebrew's 49 homers, 140 RBIs. That's a lot of RBIs. But a 276 average. Or do you take Matty Alou's 231 hits? And a 331 average, yet he hits one homer and 48 RBIs. Boy, that's a tough call. Do you want the homers and RBIs, or you want the, the hits and the batting average? 
And the runs scored. How many runs did uh, Killebrew? Killebrew had 106 runs scored. So Alou had 105, was it? Let's see. Yeah, 105. So they both score the same number of runs. That's tough. Do you want the batting average or do you want the slugging? Killebrew, let's see. Alou struck out 35 times. Killebrew, 1969, 84 times. You want the contact hitter and the guy getting on base? I don't know. Um, that's a tough one, but... Matty Alou had three categories. Killebrew and McCovey each had two categories. I'm giving 1969 to Matty Alou because of the 231 hits. Is that fair? All right, 1969 is done, and the 1960s are done. Guess what's next? 1970. This will be an interesting decade. Who will win the best pit player in this decade? And if anybody do it multiple times, we'll see. Where's Henry Aaron? Where's Willie Mays? Where's Roberto Clemente? Where's Ernie Banks? Where's Pete Rose? We got some guys coming up in the 1970s. Let's see who wins it. Stay tuned. I'm out.